There are lots of email service providers out there, but MailChimp is very popular because it allows you to create a free account and use this essentially forever. If you just go to MailChimp.com, you'll see that you can sign up for free. You click on this button and it's going to ask you for some basic information, your email, a username, and a password, and you create your account. That's really all there is to it. And you can see that you can sign up in 30 seconds, no credit card is required. Well, what does this get you? Frequently a free program doesn't get you much. But in the case of MailChimp, if we select here under pricing, we can see that they in fact have this forever free account. And essentially you can have up to 2,000 subscribers and send up to 12,000 emails per month at no charge. What this means is that if you do have 2,000 email subscribers and you send out six email blasts per month, it won't cost you anything. Now, once you go over the 2,000 email subscribers, you'll either have to have multiple accounts or, in fact, pay MailChimp a small monthly service fee. Let's say that I signed up, I got the email back from MailChimp, I opted in, and said, yes, this really is me, and I've verified my account, I can then go and log in. I log in with the information that I gave it during the sign-up process, and it comes up and says, get started in three easy steps. And you can see that we can create a list, we can design sign-up forms, and we can send a campaign. And we'll talk about each of those three in subsequent videos. The other thing that you may wish to do once you have signed up is come up to your account and look at the user account and details and your contact information and you can edit all of this right from inside of WordPress or inside of MailChimp. That's essentially all there is to get started with MailChimp. Look at the next video in the series on creating a list with MailChimp.